This week I am comparing two very popular utes. I have got the Isuzu D-Max LSU Plus model and the Ford Ranger FX4 Max model. I'm going to be comparing them to see which is the best baby drive. They are both a step down from the top spec model, so they're a good pair to compare. Let's see how they get on. <laughs> the seat section of this video is brought to you by InfraSecure. Now, both utes only fit two child seats with top tether anchorages in the back. The D-Max has the woven strips that you have to pass your top tether strap through and attach to a central metal anchor point. Whereas in the back of the Ranger, there's just the usual metal anchorages behind the seat backs. Now I can tell you when installing child seats, the metal anchorages in the Ranger are so much easier to use and more practical for families. In the back of both utes, I installed two InfraSecure child seats and in the central seat where there's no top tether anchorage, I just used the InfraSecure versatile folding booster seat when I needed to carry an older child. Storage in both utes is pretty similar. In the back there are mat pockets and cup holders. In the front cup holders, central console boxes and glasses cases the same. However in the D-Max I found there's just a little more dash storage and there's these excellent dashboard cup holders which give you really easy access to your cup of coffee. Now the LSU Plus model of the D-Max sees the addition of heated front seat and electric seat adjustment in the front, which is fantastic for the adults on board. The D-Max has rear air con vents, which is fantastic for keeping the little passengers in the back cool, whereas the Ranger doesn't have them unfortunately. The trays of both of these utes are really practical for families in terms of size. You can easily get as much shopping, prams, family dog, anything for a camping trip that you need. However, the Isuzu D-Max LSU Plus can come with this fantastic electric tray cover that you can open with just the press of a button. Now when it comes to driving, the Ranger is a little overconfident on normal roads I find and the D-Max is perfect, it feels really nice to drive around town and things like that. Now when you get off-road, the D-Max again is very capable, however the Ranger I just felt had that extra confidence that really made sense when you got off-road. The Ranger FX4 Max is much more expensive at $66,200, whereas a top spec D-Max is around $62,000, so the Ranger is much more expensive. In summary, they are both very capable and enjoyable utes, however there are some pluses and minuses with both. I found the D-Max LSU Plus much more enjoyable for everyday life driving around town and things like that. And the Ranger FX4 Max I found much too confident on everyday roads, however I really appreciated that confidence when I was off-road. Both utes will fit those two child seats in the back using the top tether anchorages, however I do prefer the top tether anchorages in the Ranger, they're just much easier to use than in the D-Max. Legroom is good in both, the media systems are good and they both have Apple CarPlay and the trays in both are perfect for fitting everything you would need for a family, especially for a camping trip. However, I did appreciate that electric cover in the LSU Plus.